Welcome to the Interstate Lithium Golf Battery Installation Tutorial. This video will guide you step by step through the tools you'll need and the process of safely installing your lithium battery. Before starting, gather these tools. Hand tools, wrenches, pliers, sockets, and a wire cutter or crimper. Cables or bus bars to connect multiple batteries. A wire brush for cleaning the battery tray or area. A rag or vacuum to remove debris from the battery tray or area. Flexible wire loom for covering cables if desired. Zip ties and mounts to secure wires and keep them away from moving parts. Dielectric grease to minimize environmental corrosion on the terminals. And make sure to put on your PPE to stay safe before you begin. We'll show you how to install a lithium battery into your golf cart. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's look where your new lithium battery will go. See how the lead acid batteries are set up? Let's snap a quick photo or sketch it out for reference. Now, disconnect all the cables from the lead acid batteries. We can reuse the cables with our new lithium battery if they are still in good shape. Important note, you won't need all the cables because we're only reinstalling one battery in the cart. Time to take out those old lead acid batteries and send them off for recycling. You can drop the battery off at your nearest Interstate dealer. To find the closest one, visit interstatebatteries.com slash recycling. A quick spray of rust prevention spray into the compartment will help keep things in top shape. We don't want any rust sneaking in later. If you have a lead acid battery tray, you'll need to remove that before you install the lithium battery tray. Let's get this shiny new lithium battery into the cart. We'll make sure the battery is in the right spot before we secure it with the hold down brackets. Once everything is in place, we'll tighten the brackets. Since this is a 48 volt battery, we'll connect the positive and negative cables to the corresponding terminals, positive to positive, negative to negative. Now, let's find a good spot to mount the charger and connect the cables to the battery. It is a good idea to keep things properly separated to help with heat mitigation. Next, we'll wire up the battery gauge. We'll connect the wires, run them under the vehicle, and secure them so they don't get caught on anything. Since this pack is strictly 48 volts, you should add a voltage reducer for accessory loads if needed. With everything connected, let's make sure the power is on and working. Thanks for watching. Remember to check out our other videos for more tips and tutorials.